And welcome. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So welcome to our first ever whole school assembly in our brand new campus. This is the first time that we've ever come together with all students, with all faculty, with all staff into one place to hear the same message together as dragons. So I want to thank each and every one of you for being part of this and for being here today. And we're going to start with some introductions so we know who's in the room because that's the most important thing in the school is the people. So of course, we're going to start with students. Now, when I call your name or when I call your group, what I want you to do is raise your hand so we all know where you are and can see you and can applaud you. So, we're going to start with our high school students. Raise your hands, please. Welcome. That's our high school. Middle school students, raise your hands. Let's give our middle school a round of applause. And our elementary school, raise your hands. All right, so our VIPs right there are our students, our high school, middle school, and elementary students. Welcome. Let's introduce some of the adults in the room. First of all, I want to introduce all faculty, whether new, returning, including TAs. Put your hands up and let's give them a round of applause. I want to introduce Mr. Bishop and Ms. Dietrich, our counseling and college counseling department. Let's put their hands up and give them a round of applause. I want to introduce Ms. Shuping, our nurse. Yay! Give them a round of applause. I want to introduce Mr. Meehan, our Director of Learning Technology, and his team, Robert, and in our Media Center. I also want to recognize Ms. Daisy Chang and our entire front office team, <laughs> along with Ms. Lisa Fang, our Director of Admissions. I want to recognize Ms. Candy Chu and the Business Office team. I want to introduce and recognize our principals. We have Ms. Rock, our high school principal. We have Mr. Iminishi, our middle school principal. And Ms. Peters, our elementary school principal. I want to introduce Mr. Ansel Wong and the facilities team. Let's put our hands together. Jeff Cohn. I want to introduce our security team and the representatives that keep us safe here every day. I want to introduce and recognize our custodial team that keeps our learning space beautiful. And I want to introduce and recognize our cafeteria team that keeps us nourished with good food so we can learn. And they are mostly not in the room today, nor are they employees, but they are really big partners who really matter for education, and those are your parents. And our board members, and our PTA and our TPA, let's give them a very big round of applause. I also want to introduce our snack bar. Chen Xuanxuan. So we started with our VIPs, our students, and we introduced a lot of adults. And here's the thing. All of the adults here, regardless of their job, whether they're keeping our learning environment clean or teaching us math or art, we're all here for one purpose, and that's you. That's for students. And we all have a role that helps you learn. And so the adults here are all part of the same team working to help create a better future for you as students. So all of us in this room have some things together, some things in common, but one thing for sure that unites us is we're all dragons and we're all proud to be dragons. So what we're going to talk about during the short assembly today is what does Dragon Pride look like? What does that sound like? And more importantly, how do we keep that going for those who come behind us? You see, the truth is, KAS 
wasn't always the school that we have today. It got a little bit better every single year because there were some really bright students and some really hardworking adults, everybody bright, everybody hardworking, that built what we have today. And we have a responsibility to those who come behind us. So how do we keep that moving forward so that in the future, others can have the same benefits that we enjoy today and even better ones? So let's talk about that. So Dragon Pride means many things, including that all of us in this room are part of something bigger than ourselves. It means that we all have important things to do while we're here. And this is really important. We all count on each other to be successful. Now, you know that at KAS, we think big. We're talking about balanced individuals, independent learners, and global citizens. So let's talk about what that means for our dragon pride. So as dragons, we are proud of our strengths in academics and arts and athletics. We are proud that that balance sets us apart and helps prepare you to be successful in school and in getting into good colleges and graduating from good colleges and having happy, productive lives later. As part of our dragon pride, we take pride as independent learners in being passionate about something, in being curious about everything, and in critically thinking and questioning many things. As global citizens, as citizens in this big world, we dragons take pride in being aware and taking action on important issues that affect us today and in the future. We take pride in being ethical and doing the right thing, even when it's hard to do the right thing. We take pride in cooperating with each other because we are stronger together than when we're apart. So together, we're going to talk about happiness, respect, hard work, the importance of English first, punctuality, and responsibility for our environment. So let's start with talking about respect. So respect is a way of treating or thinking about something or someone. It means caring about the feelings and wishes and rights of others, even people and things that we might not necessarily like. And it's important that as dragons, we all share the same definition of respect. So we show respect for a lot of different people and things every day. We show respect for our parents and our elders. We show respect for our brothers and our sisters. We show respect for each other as students at KAS, as dragons. We show respect for our teachers and for other teachers that might not be our own. And for all the adults on the team that work here to help you have a good education no matter what their job is. So, some of the ways that we show respect include our choice of words and our choice of behaviors. So some of the ways we show respect are with our choice to listen without talking when somebody speaks to us. Just like you're doing right now, you're showing me great respect by listening when I'm talking and hearing the message. We show respect when we choose to arrive in class on time. That shows respect for our classmates, that shows respect for our teachers, that shows respect for ourselves. We show respect when we choose to follow our teacher's instructions or follow the instructions from any adult on the KAS team. That shows respect for them and ourselves. We show respect with our choice to keep our school clean and our classrooms clean. That shows respect that shows that we care about our surroundings and our, and our world. We show respect when we choose to wear appropriate clothing for school. That shows that we respect ourselves, our classmates, our teachers, and our families. We show respect when we choose not to use swear words in any language on campus or any school area, like the bus or the train on the way to school. That shows respect for all around us. See, keep in mind, I know many of us might ride the train or might ride the bus, and people know who we are. And so when you're on the train or when you're on the bus, you're representing dragons. You're representing everyone in this room. And when you act respectfully, that brings honor to every student and adult in our community. When you act disrespectfully in those settings, it hurts every student and every adult in our community because we're all connected. So when we choose to do these things, we make a choice to be respectful. When we choose not to do these things, we make a choice to be disrespectful. 
Now sometimes we're disrespectful on purpose, but usually not. Usually it's an accident. We might not mean to be disrespectful, but we're still learning the right way to show respect. That's why it's important to ask ourselves every day, are my actions showing respect for myself and for others? We as dragons are proud of our reputation for being respectful, and we're known for it. And we're able to be here because of those who came before us who worked very hard to build for us the school that we have today. And we have a duty to uphold that tradition for the future students who come after. So I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Rock to talk about hard work, perseverance, and punctuality. And I'll come back to you in a little bit. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Now, I know that Dr. Kluger already introduced us, but I want once again to let you know my name is Ms. Rock, if you don't already know. I know everybody in the high school knows that, but just in case if you're new or if you're in elementary or middle school, um, if you see me around, that's what I'm doing. I'm working here for the high school students and the high school teachers. That's what we're here for. Now, as you know, the most important reason that you're in school is for your learning. That's your primary job when you're here is to ensure that you're learning everything that you can. Okay? So the best way that you can do that, the best predictor of learning and of academic achievement is hard work. Hard work. There's a big myth out there that there's innate intelligence that's going to determine whether you're successful in life or not. That's not actually true. What's true is your hard work can make all the difference in your academic success here at school and beyond. So that's what we need you to do. We need you to put in your best effort all the time. And we need you to persevere. To persevere means that you need to keep at it. And you don't give up when something's hard. And you always keep trying and you always put in that effort. That's the best thing for your learning and it's what we need from you every day. Some days that's challenging. Some days it's frustrating and you come up against things that are very difficult. That's okay. It's okay to not be successful the first time you do something. It's just an opportunity to keep learning, but we need you to keep at it. So the most important thing is that when you hit that challenge, that you keep at it. We don't want you to shut down. We want you to persevere, as I said. So the other thing that is really important for you to understand, though, you're not here alone. You're not in the, that challenge by yourself. Every adult who works here is here because we're, we care about students. We're here to help you with those challenges. We're here to help you sharpen your skills, to learn new, uh, to learn new things, to make connections, and to think critically about things. So we'll help you when you're, if you have those challenges. So what what you need to do if you do if you're finding yourself at a wall and you don't know how to go, please go ask ask an adult, seek the help. And we are here to help you, that's why we're educators, that's why we come to school every single day, is because we're here to help you. So please ask for help. And with that, we, out, we encourage you to help your peers as well, your friends and your classmates. If you see someone struggling, help out if you can. If you can't, if you're not able to help that person, please help that person to find an adult who can help because we want to nurture that supportive environment that supports your learning and your academic success. So, I think we've made that clear, but I'm gonna say it again. The most important thing is your hard work, and that will lead to all the learning in the world. That's what we want. Now, the other thing that we really need from you is we need you here. We need you here, on time, every single day. Dr. Cooper talked about how that shows respect for your, for your classmates, for yourself, for your teachers. But it's also crucial for your learning. Your teachers are designing activities and lessons that rely on you being there in class on time every single day. So that's the other thing that we need you, um, we need you to do. We need you to be here, and we need you to be here <coughs> mentally as well as physically. When you show up in your room, you're ready to engage. And that's what we need for you. And with that, I'm sure you'll all feel great pride in yourselves for everything that you accomplished. And with that, I'll turn it over to Mrs. Peterson. Good morning. I know many of you, because this is now my fourth year here at KAS, uh, so 
for those of you who are new, I'm Mrs. Peters, and I'm the elementary school principal, uh, which means that I ask to take care of all of your younger brothers and sisters that you see here with you. Uh, and that's, if we're a big family, that's how I would like you to think of our younger children. They're part of your family. One thing I would like to talk to you about this morning is speaking the English language. We do have a policy in our school of English first. And you might wonder, why is that important, as long as I can communicate? A couple of things. It's our common language. It's the language that either we all speak or are learning to speak. So if you can already speak the language, of course, practicing it makes it even better for you. Your language will improve. For the younger students or students new to KAS and different grade levels, if they're just learning, the more they hear English, the quicker they will learn. So it goes back to what Mrs. Brock is saying. You support your learning, and you can support each other's learning, especially of the English language. Another important factor related to that is it makes everyone feel included. You may not realize it because they might not be in your classes, but we have children here from Argentina, from France, from the Netherlands, from various countries, and they're learning English, but you know they do not speak Chinese. So if we are speaking a language other than English, uh, then they feel excluded. And one of our big things, again, is part of the family. We all want to feel part of it. So we appreciate your efforts in that. Uh, and of course, I talked about our younger, your younger brothers and sisters here. As older students, we count on you. We rely on you. We depend on you to be good examples for our younger students. Because they're just learning. They're learning uh, social behaviors. They're learning, some of them just learning how to be in school for the first time. And they love you. And they look up to you. And they copy you with everything. So we would ask that you set a good role model for them. And um, as much as you possibly can, always speak English. If you think about those of you who are older and your future goals, I, I guess I venture to say that most of you will be going to an English-speaking country to attend university. And the better you speak English when you get there, the better it will be for your future goals to be successful in university, to have careers where you may be needing to use English um, a good part of the time. And so the ease with which you speak English now will carry you a long way into the future as well. And of course, we want you to be proud to communicate in English. Uh, we're an American school. Uh, you're proud of your academic achievements. Please be proud of speaking English as well. Um, you all speak very well, or you're learning to speak very well. So we know that you can do it. The other thing that I want to talk to you about this morning is happiness. We want you to be happy at KAS. It's important to your teachers, to your parents, to us, that you come to school every day looking forward to the day. It's sometimes easier for little kids, and sometimes it's harder for the first few days. But if for whatever reason a time comes when you are feeling um, unhappy, or something is bothering you, or something is compromising your happiness, please talk to a trusted adult. It doesn't matter if you're five years old or 18 years old. We all sometimes need someone to talk to. So if you just have that feeling of unease, please reach out. Reach out to an adult, reach out to your teacher, Reach out to your counselors, reach out to your principals, reach out to your superintendent. And please remember that we are here to support you. Mrs. Rock talked about your support for academics and helping you with those challenges. We are also here to support you on a social and emotional level. So please do know that you can count on us.
Thank you, and I would now turn it over to my colleague, Mr. Kamenishi. Good morning. I'm Mr. Imanishi, or you can call me Mr. I. So, good morning. Thank you. I feel the respect. And I want to applaud you all. You did a great job of coming in. And again, it's elementary, middle school, and high school. I am in charge of the middle school. But again, one of my biggest goals is for us middle schoolers to be again, role models for our younger brothers and sisters. And again, we look towards the high school, uh, our older brothers and sisters to um, uh, for our goals and how we need to act. So one thing I'd like to talk about is about responsibility and respect for our campus. KS was built and designed for the next 50 years. And in order for our beautiful facility to last for the next 50 years, we all need to take care of our community spaces. That is the classrooms, dining hall, auditorium, field, hallways, etc. We need to take pride in our school and our home. And so, for example, in the dining hall, I ask that you pick up after yourselves, just like in your own home. For everyone at the table, make sure that the table is clear, all chairs are pushed in and ready, and welcoming for the next group of students or other guests. In the gymnasium, place your backpack and other items in a neat and orderly fashion. And again, wear the appropriate footwear, and again, thank you today for staying on the mats. Around campus, if you see litter, throw it away. Or if you see a lost item, please help these items get back to their owners by taking them to the front desk in the lobby or to Miss Vivian in the athletic complex. A general rule is to leave places cleaner or better than when you found them. This is a big campus, and we want you to think big. So with all of your eyes in cooperation, uh, please report any maintenance issues to the front desk. With responsible behaviors come rewards, and to the high school students, the food policy is currently under review. Once again, KS was built and designed for the next 50 years. Let's all do our part to make this happen. Thank you very much. All right, so let's go ahead and bring this to a close. I want to first of all thank each and every dragon for the way you've shown respect for yourselves and, and for everyone here by the way that you've given your attention to what we're talking about today. So going back to where we started, the purpose of all coming together today is to make sure that as dragons, when we're talking about these things, when we're talking about respect, when we're talking about working hard, perseverance, speaking English, taking responsibility for our campus and our surroundings, representing ourselves well in the community. We want to make sure that we're all talking about the same thing, and that we're sharing that same definition. So as you go through your classes, your teachers will talk about these things, maybe a little bit today, or maybe a little bit another day, or, or maybe later. But we want to make sure that we are all talking about the same thing, because together we're all dragons. Now there's one other thing that I want to end on that's really, really important. As dragons, we are inclusive. And what that means is that we bring people into our family. So when you're looking around in your classes or when you're looking around at the dining, dining hall table, you might see somebody that you don't know yet. Or you might see somebody that maybe has a different first language than you. As dragons, we reach out to them and we say, hi, how are you? We introduce ourselves and we try to make a new friend. We include them in our activities because we're all part of the same KAS Dragon family. It's part of what makes us who we are. So, as you meet new people who are new to our campus, welcome them and show through your actions that they are part of the KAS family. Thank you all for being part of our first ever whole school assembly and we hope you have a really good, really fun, and really successful 2018-19. Thank you very much.